Hi, I'm Glyn Dewis. Welcome to episode 33. And this week I want to show you a really cool lighting technique in Photoshop for adding in coloured rim lights and highlights just like the ones in this picture here. Okay, so ever since I posted this uh, picture online, which I called Mystical World, one of the questions I've got asked more than most is how did I actually do these coloured highlights going around the actual two girls in this picture here? Because they weren't in the original out-of-camera shot. And that's exactly what I want to show you in this video. Now, I have posted a previous video about this picture here where I've shown how we created this shadow and the, the night colour and the kind of like the shadow and reflection over on the left-hand side here. That's over on my YouTube channel. But for today, we're going to do these coloured highlights. Now, here's the picture here. Part Partly retouched, obviously a heck of a lot more needs to be done to it, but like I said, we're going to only concentrate on those coloured rim lights. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to zoom in on these girls down here. I've actually cut these two girls off their background, so if I just turn off the layer mask, you can see there's the original room and there's the actual cutout. There's obviously quite a bit more that I would need to do to it, but we don't need to go that far ahead for this particular technique. So, how do we do those coloured highlights? Well, over in the layers panel over here, here's my layer containing the cutout of the girls. All I'm going to do is double click just to the right hand side of the layer name and that brings up the layer style dialog box. And from the left hand side here where it says styles, I'm going to choose inner glow and make sure that you actually click on the words inner glow. Otherwise you'll find that if it hasn't got this blue kind of highlighted area here, you won't then get in the central area all the kind of like adjustments that you can make to that particular style. So now that we're in there, we can see straight away if I turn that on and off, if you just look at the outside of the girls here, if I turn that on and off, you can see already we've got some kind of makings of a glow. And that's what we're going to use to create the kind of effect as if the light coming out of the wardrobe was hitting the outer parts of them and any kind of areas around their body. So here's what we do to make those highlights. I'm going to first of all change the blend mode right in the center here from screen to color dodge. Now color dodge is definitely my favorite of all the blend modes. It is so, so adaptable for creating some really cool lighting effects. So we're definitely going to be using Color Dodge for this one here. Then I'm going to take uh, the opacity all the way up to 100%. I'm then going to go to the, where it's got this gradient here, I'm just to the left hand side of it, we've got a little box that I can click on and that brings up our color picker. This is where we can decide now on the color that we want the rim light to be. Now I want it to be that kind of bright orangey yellow kind of colour, so I'm going to get the little point in the middle here, bring it right over to the right hand side. Now the crazy thing is you might think straight away that if you want a bright rim light, you're just going to put this pointer right at the top. If you do that, it's going to be a little bit too strong and not, not that realistic, but as bringing it down just a little bit, it helps to create that added realism. Once I've got that colour, I'll click OK. So now that I want to increase the sort of size of that glow so it's coming more wrapping around the girls a little bit more like it would in real life. And I can do that in the middle section here where it says choke and size. So first of all then I'm going to increase the size. And as I do that, if you look at the girls here, you can see that that light source is getting bigger and bigger around the girls. And already we're starting to get the look of that light reflecting onto them. We can also do the choke, but the choke is a lot more kind of uh, a more defined increase in the size of that light source there. And you'll see as I bring it over, it's a much more harsher kind of outline here. But that allows us to bring this effect further into the girl. So I'm going to keep the choke actually lower than the size, because as we bring the size up, although it increases the size of the light source, it's also fairly soft and realistic, which is what we want. So I'm going to bring it up to around about there's fine. Now if I think the colour's not quite right, I can always again just click on the little colour picker there and just change it around. Let's just say a bit more orangish kind of colour, something, yeah, something around about there might be good. And then we'll click OK. Now there's actually nothing else that I need to do in this section, or rather nothing else I can do in this section here. We now need to go out and start working on the layer itself. So I'm going to click OK. Now straight away one thing you will see is we've got a great kind of outline going around both of the girls here but there is a problem area on the hands. Now because that inner glow is going to be going around 
each part on the outside of her arm and on the underside of her arm, it's not going to take much as we bring up the size there that the two are going to join. So now it looks like the hands are completely covered in that light and that wouldn't really be the case. It would only be around the outsides of it. So to make this actually fit and look better, what we can do now is add a layer mask and paint away it where we don't want that effect to be. However, over in the layers panel, we already have a layer mask because that's what we did the cutout. So you might think that all you'd need to do is click on that layer mask, get a brush, and we're gonna get a black brush to paint it away where we don't want it. So I don't want it to be on this part of the hand, so I'm gonna paint that away. But as I do that, if you notice, it's not just painted the light away, it's also painted her arm away, and we don't want that. So let's go back a bit. What we need to do is somehow put that layer style, that inner glow layer style, onto its own layer to create a layer that we can then add a layer mask to. And we can actually do that. So over in the layers panel, where it says inner glow here, where it's got effects and inner glow, if I right click on that, it brings up this menu. And right at the bottom, we've got one called create layer. And when I click on that, what that does is Photoshop turns that layer style into its own layer and puts it right at the top of the layer stack. So now you can see I can turn that off and on, off and on. And the great thing now is when I click on that, I can now add a layer mask to it. So I'm gonna click on the layer mask at the bottom. Now it would actually be easier, I think for me, if I hide this effect completely and then just paint it in where I want it rather than going around and being very, very careful to remove it off areas. So with this layer mask, I'm just gonna invert it first of all. So I'm gonna to go to image, adjustments, and invert, and that's gonna make the layer mask black. Now that effect is still there, it's just hiding behind that layer mask. Now another way that we could do that is we could add a layer mask to it if we hold down our Alt or Option key and then click on the layer mask icon at the bottom of the layers panel. When I do that, it automatically gives me a black layer mask. So it's just a quicker way of doing it. So now to bring in that effect around our uh, two girls in the picture here, I'm gonna get a brush, Make sure in the brush options that it's the hardness is down to zero because this is a light source that I want to be nice and soft as it's kind of like going around the outside of them. And to reveal it, I need to make sure that my foreground color is set to white. And it's that old saying of white reveals, black conceals. So all I need to do now then with the opacity at 100% is just increase the size of the brush and I can start painting it in now just going around the outside. And the great thing is because this is actually painting on a cutout, got this layer mask, it only goes onto the areas of the layer mask that are white. And if I just show you that here, just this area here, it's only gonna go onto these areas of the cutout. So I can keep on painting around, adding in where I want that light source to be. So I can just go around, let's just decrease the size of the brush there with the left bracket key, paint a little bit on this area here. There's definitely quite a bit gonna be hitting her foot as that light's coming out from the bottom of the wardrobe. A little bit on this kind of, uh, blanket, kind of comfort blanket. I think this is called Rue. This is a comfort blanket. So I just paint a little bit on the inside of the leg, on the feet, and like so. And I'll just do a little touch as it comes around this part of the body. This is made a heck of a lot easier painting this in using a Wacom pen tablet. If you haven't got one of those, highly recommend you get a, a tablet from a company called Wacom. I get nothing for recommending it, I just know that it makes a huge difference to your retouching and certainly your accuracy as you're painting around. Now if you go too far over, just change the foreground color to black and then you can paint it away just a little bit. Now this is the area here that I need to be a bit careful, just on the hands, so making sure I'm painting in white, decrease the size of the brush and we're just painted in just on the top like so because before this this uh, highlight area here actually joined up and it didn't look right because it covered over the complete arm so quite a bit on the hands in fact, that's a bit too much there let's just paint that off something like that we'll just do a little bit around the rim of the hands like so but I'm just going quick this is just to give you an idea of how it's done in that actual picture so now let's zoom out now for those of you that also want to know just quickly how we created this look of the glow coming out of the, uh, the wardrobe here, again, like most things in uh, Photoshop, it's really, really simple. All I'm gonna do is add a blank layer, get a brush, let's just choose from the foreground color here, an orangish kind of color, nice burnt orange, let's go for something like that. So let's just put a, a dab at the top, hold down my shift key, put another dab at the bottom, that creates a line 
change the blend mode of this layer again to color dodge doesn't look like much at the moment but with this one the more times we create a copy by pressing command or control j the effect increases as we go around so eventually we're going to end up with the effect that you can see over here in the wardrobe and that is how we did it that's how we created the uh, colored rim lights and also that kind of glowing light coming out of the wardrobe So there you go, nice and quick, nice and simple, but a really cool technique for adding in those lighting effects. Color dodge is without a doubt my favorite blend mode because you can really add some great lighting effects that very quickly change the atmosphere and the mood within your pictures. But hey, that's uh, all for this week. Just a couple of things before I go. Make sure if you haven't already that you go to my uh, web store where you can get full length downloadable tutorials, including all the raw files, Photoshop layered files, and also the stock images so that you can then follow along and create exactly the same picture so that you get to learn how the techniques are used in conjunction with each other to make the final picture. And as always, if you haven't already, make sure you click on the subscribe button so that you don't miss out on any of these weekly videos that I post out. And again, I really do appreciate the support. If you just let other people know about this channel and also the iTunes podcast, because this is also available now, available now on the iTunes podcast store. But hey, that's all for this week. I'll see you next time. Thank you.